Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. I'm Spike Viper and you should totally like do that like and subscribe thing because that'll make random children who are hungry no longer be hungry, I promise. It's scientifically proven. They will get an entire planet thrown at their face and there's enough biomass on, you know, your average... Actually, that's a lie. Most planets don't have biomass. That's it. The lie's falling apart. Alright, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting gravity to ridiculous levels and then seeing if we can get things working, you know? I mean, uh, last time we tested it with like low gravity and that's just slow and boring. So what if we put it at like 10,000 G? 12,000 G, there we go. Alright, 12,000 G. Let's see if we put the Earth. Nice. Very good, and if we get the moon, I don't know if auto orbit even works when you modify the gravity. I'm not, I think last time we discovered that it does not, in fact, work, it will freak out. So I think we're going to have to manually get it into orbit, which isn't impossible. Oh, oh, did it put it into orbit properly? Maybe it did. It just can't make the line very well yeah so it is orbiting this directional indicator is a little bit broken um wow really 12,000 times gravity and we can still get the moon in orbit and actually that's not that far away that's very close orbit as well I was concerned that the moon would just get ripped apart but I I guess not uh, how quickly is the moon moving? Ah! You know, honestly, I thought it would be a li- I mean, the moon is moving pretty damn quickly, but I thought it would be a little bit more wacky. Um, basically, in order to stay in orbit with a higher gravitational constant, you have to be moving faster. So, I mean, I won't lie, this is- this is pretty fast. But it's not the complete wacky speed that I was hoping for. That's okay though, we can just turn up the gravity more. Does it even make much of a difference at this point? Oh, see? Wow, the game is actually starting to struggle. So we'll do... Wow! The trails on the moon are just broken. It, it no longer works. And the planet is, or the moon, not the planet. The moon is now getting up to like a thousand kilometers per second. So we're going pretty fast. Um, so there's just so much force here. We're just going to keep increasing it. Because it's never enough. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Never. <laughs> I will never learn. Wow. Now we're going at, like, real time now, almost. A little bit faster. Twice as fast as real time. A little bit more than twice. This is how quickly the moon is moving. <laughs> okay, let's go to actual real time. Here we go. Single. Oh, wait, that's a single frame. There we go. That's basically real time. That is insane. The moon moving this fast is just absolutely insane. Look at that. You can see that. Ah, uh, they may be going. Why wouldn't I be able to see it? Look, when you look into the sky, you do not see the moon move, or maybe very slightly, but you're probably just imagining it. Okay, that that ain't normal. Okay, so gravity is now so high, so absurdly ridiculous that when the moon it hits the earth it will hit with the force oh oh my god what have I done yo we turned earth into a black hole whoops I didn't even think of that being a possibility what oh wow Makes you kind of respect how, like, massive and powerful a black hole is considering it took, well, that many G's 
But, wow. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do that again. Okay, so... Like, 100,000 is the furthest we can go safely. We're going to put the moon... Well, let's do a comparison. Here's a normal moon collision. Alright, that's pretty damaging. Not gonna lie. Uh, there is quite a bit of damage there, because, well, the moon just crashed into the Earth. It's it's going to be a little bit violent. Uh, so now we're going to do the same thing. Same distance. Uh, but we're going to turn the speed down quite a bit, for uh, reasons that you will understand in a bit. And we're going to set the speed, or the gravitational constant, to... A hundred thousand G's. I like how something on Earth actually did change. I think some of the lights won out. Whoops. I hate it when I accidentally kill people. It's always unfortunate. Alright, so the moon is already moving at 20 kilometers per second. The acceleration here is pretty insane, and as it gets closer, the acceleration increases because, well, gravity is proportional to distance. Um, Alright. 200. 3, 5, 6, 7. And distance squared, that is. So, I mean, it's way more than even mass. So, as it gets closer, it's it is really, really picking up some speed now. Wow! Wow! We're almost at 1% of light speed. Uh... Okay, so I will I will say it's still an explosion, but this one definitely looks different than the last one. I mean... I'm not crazy. That... What? Oh my god, all of the particles that are created in the explosion are getting sucked right back in. What? Yo, that is so weird. Even the little, like, particulates are coming back. It's like exploding from the inside. Wow. Why Earth is just shrinking now? Is Earth dead? Is it cooling down? Wait, Earth's- What? Wait a second! What? What happened? What, what happened to Europe? This is really suspect with only like, China surviving. I have a feel- Oh my god! California is all that's left. Why? I, I know there's more there. There's some Mexico and stuff as well. I'm I'm being simplistic. I'm not gonna name off all of your boring states. That's okay. I'm dead in this. Wow. The the part of Russia we all forget is still up and kicking. Japan still got anime running. That's that's good, I guess. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Um, it would appear. That Earth lost a lot of mass, but where did it go? Where did the mass go? There, wait. What? No. Where did this moon come from? Did it come out of the Earth during 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 the collision? Did it just go through Earth? Did I accidentally spawn one in? I I honestly have no clue what happened there. Wait a second. No way. I I refuse to believe. All right, Earth. I I just need to do a quick test. Wow, uh, this is a real test. No. That totally went through. No. 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 I refuse to believe it. 
we broke physics, but we we didn't break physics that hard, did we? The game's just letting them pass through each other? Come on. Did it just keep going? That one didn't. But like, we, you can see the circle continue for a bit before the object is destroyed. Oh, no. It just ate that. And that. And just instantly, like, vaporizes. Alright, so if the collision is a little bit too fast, it will just go through it. What's weird is with the, uh, gravitational pull being so strong, if we- Oh my- What? <laughs> Yes! Orbit my ch Look, they're all just orbiting each other over here and completely ignoring the much more massive Earth. Wow. This is kind of a meme. Oh my. Well, I, I can say that is not normal behavior. Not normal behavior. I think we may have broken physics a little bit, guys. I don't know. You know, every once in a while I say that I've broken something, but this is like... This is special. This is special amounts of breaking things. Where am I even placing- why am I placing these like 80 miles away? Like, what the heck? Why can't I remove them? Ah! All of these false moons. It's okay, I can just delete all of them. I wanted to create more of a mess. Oh no, I deleted all those moons! No! Okay, can I clean? Is there a way to clean a simulation? Because that would actually be really useful. It won't do that for me, will it? No, it won't. All right, do one more simulation. G's a hundred thousand G's. There we go. What if we just put like, let's do Venus. All right, one, two. Wow, that was violent. That was really violent. We didn't even really get to do anything there. They just instantly murdered each other. Hate it when that happens. Okay, what if we just do one, two, three, four, five, really quickly just add a bunch of them so that they don't have time to just rip each other to shreds. Okay, all right. We have, we have confused the physics engine to the point. They're so like clumpy. They don't completely destroy each other, but they do because of this super strong gravity create these, like, big clumps of planets. The normal simulation speed, they're going at speeds where it can actually, like, calculate things, but here it's just... Here it's just spaghetti. That is some nice spaghetti, though. Look at it go. They're all in such close proximity without actually killing each other. They're just all moving so fast. Whew. That's fun. Well, I guess I'll have to find more things I can do with this. Hmm. This one is just like, yes, we made it, friend. We made it. We didn't die. Let's celebrate, and this one just like, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. <laughs> wait, wait, friend, why are you getting so close? Oh, I think it just got ripped apart by physics, but none of the particles actually spawned. That's kind of sad, or the particles that spawned just went back into itself. It's just shrinking. Oh, that's a horrible way to go. It's just shrinking into non-existence. Oh, well. 
Don't shrink your friends into non-existence, that's mean. And with that, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, join my army, you know, normal things YouTubers ask for. Peace out.